Mathematica, there's an important part of the title we're missing there. It's uh, a world of numbers and beyond. And so Mathematica is really about the abstract qualities of math and math as it surrounds us in the natural world, math of the everyday. The, the original Mathematica uh, came about because of the relationship between IBM and Charles and Ray Eames. And IBM had been invited to contribute to the, a museum in Los Angeles, the California Museum of Science and Industry. And in consultation with IBM, Charles and Ray suggested an exhibit on mathematics. So that's where the, the kernel of the, the idea begins. If you go into this exhibit, you're not going to see a lot of numbers. You're going to see a lot of poetic quotes and sort of very poetic movements and actions and interactivity happening and unfolding before you. You're going to see bright colors and well-designed objects that are very Eamesian in detail. And there is this sort of great notion that Charles and Ray Eames had was that you can't really be a great mathematician without also being somewhat of a poet. And I think that that's a great case here, is that you can explore the world of, of literature, of mathematics in this exhibit, which I think it might take a lot of people aback to think that you can do that here. It's not a teaching tool, it's a learning tool. It was about opening doors, you know, and that kind of notion of working in collaboration with the guest. So you could start anywhere, and you could read a couple quotes, or all the quotes. You could take things in any order, and you could read as much as you want. Or you could step back from the history wall and not necessarily read any of the content, but you could sort of see the increased density of mathematical work that was being done. I would never think of a leaf as having mathematical qualities, but then you discover the ideas of topology or parody. It does make you look at the world in a different way. Some of the concepts that are explored, some of the analogies that are made in the exhibit, that would allow people to literally see elements of their everyday life just differently, sort of understand some of the underpinnings.